I'm Marianne Hansen. I'm an extension plant pathologist at Virginia Tech, and we're standing here on the Virginia Tech campus in front of a Leland cypress tree that has, unfortunately, a fungal dieback disease called ceridium canker. Leland cypress is a tree that has become really popular in Virginia landscapes in, in about the last couple of decades. It's a hybrid between two different species, neither of which is native to Virginia. Um, but the tree initially looked like it would do pretty well here. It grows very fast. It's a nice evergreen for use in windscreen. So a lot of Leland cypress have been planted around Virginia. It took a little while, but we started to see what some of the problems on Leland cypress are. And the main problem is a fungal canker disease called ceridium canker. And that's what we see here with these dead branches on this Leland cypress. The fungus infects the branches and it'll cause a canker, which is a dead area of the bark. And as that canker expands, it can eventually girdle the branch. And once it girdles the branch, everything above the canker will die. So the cankers of ceridium canker enlarge rather slowly, but eventually they often will girdle the branch and cause dieback of the whole branch. You'll often see the branches dying from the bottom up, but we can also see dieback anywhere on the tree. This particular tree also has dieback of the central leader at the top of the tree. The cankers can be a little bit hard to see, but you would look for cracked bark, swollen stems, sunken areas on the stem. And in particular, one thing that's very diagnostic for this disease is droplets of resin on those cankered areas. And that's where the tree is trying to fight back and producing this, this resin. So those areas are areas where you know the bark is being killed. And if you're going to prune these cankers out, you need to go back well below those areas where you can see any evidence of canker to prune them back to a healthy part of the wood. There are no real controls for canker diseases of Leland cypress other than to prune out those cankered branches and to prevent stress. So this is a disease that's definitely, the, tr the tree is predisposed to the infection by stress, such as drought stress, or as we discovered over the last couple of years in Blacksburg, um, winter injury. So after the winters of 2014 and 2015, where we had some severe temperature extremes, we saw a lot more ceridium canker in Leland Cypress in the spring and a lot more severity of that disease. Once you have a lot of dieback, there's really nothing that can be done. 